Hi guys! I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. And this time I have, um, I'm going to show you my Dollar Tree stuff that I purchased. And then I also have a few things from Ross Hobby Lobby. And I think that's it. Ross and Hobby Lobby. So let's get started. So I picked up a couple more of the bends, the plastic bends. They are, um, are slowly coming up with nothing anymore. They're all disappearing. So I figured I'll just grab a couple more just in case I'm going to need some more for my son's room. Um, yeah, all their nice bins and stuff are gone. They are, everybody is going there and snatching them all up. So I wanted to hurry up and get a few more before they're completely gone. And then I got these, the other plastic bins, which I really like. I've been using these to store things and putting them in the closets. Um, so I picked up, let's see, I picked up four of those. And then I got a couple, then just a couple other few things. Um, let's see here. Okay, and then I got these. I thought these were really cute. They come in two. And it's, they're also little plastic bands. And I figured I can put this on my son's desk and he can put his pencil, scissors, glue, anything that he's going to need to do his homework with. Um, like I said, his colors are going to be, you know, red, white, black, and blue. So, I figured that would look nice on his desk. And then I picked up one Valentine item um, there. Everything they had, it wasn't anything that I really wanted. So I did find this cute piece, super cute. It's wooden and it spells out the words welcome. And they're really pretty. So I like it and they're hard. So definitely worth a dollar, I thought. I like this. But yeah, I haven't picked up any candy or anything. Um, or cards except one pack. I haven't done any of that to see to get ready for Valentine's. I'm just trying to get over Christmas right now. So, but yeah, I got that. Um, and then, kind of random, I got the Fix All Adhesive. And I haven't used this one yet. It's the original super glue. It says it solves all your gluing, sealing, repairing problems. And it's good on rubber, wood, and metal. So we'll see. I have a frame um, in my daughter's room that she cracked that I'm going to try to see if um, I can glue it back together. It says it glues wood, so we'll see. And then I picked up one of these. It's the scented oil warmer diffuser. And I got some of the oil and I thought I could put it in one of my other plugins which I wasn't able to. So I had to go back and pick up one of these. So we'll see how this works because I haven't tried these plugins yet. Then I picked up three travel bottles um, for traveling. I figured you could put, you know, the shampoo, conditioner, and then a body lotion or even a body wash and the pump. Um, my daughter will be going my middle daughter will be going to sixth grade camp this year. She's gone for five days. She'll be leaving in about two months. So I figured this will be good to take with her to camp. And then I got this toolbox little plastic container. And it's really cool. I like this. And I've always remember, you know, always when I see people haul these, I'm like, yeah, I got to grab one. And I never do. And so finally I just happened to spot one and I'm like, oh, I need one of these. And basically I'm going to use this for jewelry. Um, I think I'm going to put like all my earrings that are like studs, the smaller type ones in this. Um, I have another box that I put my other earrings in. So, and then the studs and the smaller earrings always obviously fall down to the bottom of the box. So I figured I'll put them in here and it'll be easier for me to find. And it's plastic. So it's clear. I can see what I'm looking for. So yeah, I really like this. Then I picked up a cell phone bumper, and it's a two-piece bumper, and it's for the Samsung Galaxy 3. They did um, have other ones for iPhone 5s and 
but I did not, I was searching for an S5 because that's, I'm going to be getting a new phone soon. But yeah, this, um, I'm going to, and it's rubber, so it'll be interesting to see how this works. If it works pretty well. I just, I bought in their other cases that are just the regular ones, and they work fine, so it'll be interesting to see how a two-piece works. And then I picked up a facial brush. And I haven't um, used one of these before, so we'll see. It'll be nice to put in, leave it in the shower with my my other um, facial creams and stuff that I use in there. So get to use that. I picked up Sassy and Chic Slant Tip Tweezers. I've never bought in tweezers there before, so I'll see how this works. And then. I found um, a secret cover concealer cream. It's by Milani, and it's in the color beige, 08 beige. And I did try it yesterday, and it's very creamy. Very creamy, and I liked it. I thought it was really pretty, so I liked how it looked after I blended it in and stuff, so it was nice. Then I picked up a Wet n Wild Beauty Benefits Blush. And this one is in the color, um, it says 34402, but I'm not sure if it says the color, maybe once I open it, we'll see. I hate when they don't, okay, so let's see if it says in here, it just says, nope, it doesn't say, they had some other ones that were a little bit darker, but I liked it, this was pretty, it was a pretty color, and it looks like that, so it's like a light, light pinky blushy color, so it's pretty. So I'm excited about using that. Um, they didn't really have anything much different in their makeup section, so I didn't get too much, obviously. But um, I picked up, this one is in the blue, and then I also got a purple, Smoldering Violet, and it's by the Maybelline. And then this one is the blue color. And I wanted to kind of swatch it and see because the tips look different. So I wanted to see, they almost look like they're spongy like. I wanted to actually get one in there and see here. Maybe you have to twist it. Oh, I see what this is. This is basically, um, you use this to kind of, you know, smudge it, blend it in. So it's like a little, blender brush and then here's the stick part there we go that's cool it's like a really deep dark purple oh that's what it is so that's neat to try out and then it says blue but it looks more like a purple so let's look at the violet one and see how that one looks on the skin Try this. And there it is. Well, that one's definitely more purple than that one. So it's like a blue. This one, I guess it is blue compared to the purple. So be both very pretty colors. It'll be interesting to see how the, um, I'm trying to see if it works. It works. Well, it does kind of, it definitely takes it away blends it a little bit so we'll see you don't need to use this part anyways if you don't want to you have other brushes to use but yeah that's it so that was my Dollar Tree haul it was very short and sweet and simple um there wasn't a lot that I needed they hadn't really stocked up with anything new so I got what I actually wanted and needed okay so the next thing I'm going to show you um is what I got from Hobby Lobby and we are doing some, you know, 
redoing some rooms for our kids. So it was just more decorating type stuff, house stuff. But I got a J to hang in his room for his name. His name's Jewel. So I was looking for the metal ones because we, um, his room is also has metal. We're using metal as decoration, but yeah, didn't find one. So I'm going to try to see if I find another one because I can lay it on his desk. But this one will hang on either on a shelf, on a dresser, or um, hang it on the wall because you can use this on the wall. And this was $7.99. And I don't think this one was on sale. And then the next thing from Hobby Lobby is this wrought iron type decoration flowery type thing and it's like a teal like an aqua green color flower in the middle and then this one was running for $27.99 and then we used a 40% coupon on this because this also was not on sale and this is going to go in my daughter's room she's kind of doing like her room is basically black with um the aqua colors she's into like the mermaid and stuff so I ordered um, a canvas art through Etsy um, of a mermaid. So the next thing, the last thing, this here, and it says, what does it say? Love you yesterday, love you still, always have, always will. And this one was for $34.99, and then this was 50% off. And it's actually a pretty good size. And that's pretty much like the colors that she's going with. And then three more things. This was I got from um, Ross. I got this platter here. You can use this pretty much for anything. And this was on clearance for $6.99. If you can see, probably not. And I'm probably going to... Um, get like those big decorated balls and this is going to go on a console table that I'm going to order. I was so basically I've gotten the decorations to put on the table but yet not have to order the table so I got this and then another piece I got to put um, on my console table is this little jar thing and this was $7.99 it's really pretty. And the colors like in my living room are like these bronzy gold colors, silver, um, all the warm tones. And then the last thing that I got is this chest thing. And this was $13.99. You just open it up like this. And basically I got this was to put in my room. I already have another one that's flat on top, but it looks just like this. Um, this one is a little um, more angled, has a little bit of a higher top to it. And this is pretty much that holds all my bracelets. Um, my other one is full. I can't even close down the box anymore. So I got another one to put my bracelets in. And this matches kind of like my um, furniture that I have in the bedroom. So... I needed another one. So yeah, that was it for my haul, guys. I hope you guys liked my little Dollar Tree and Ross slash Hobby Lobby. And I will see you guys next time. If you like these haul videos, please subscribe. I, you know, try to put up a video at least once or twice a week. And yeah, give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys all next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>